Can we're, I go ahead we're, and do we're one live. Again? Sure, if you want to. Doesn't bother me. Yeah, you can do the first pan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is night 11 of 12 of a Dogfather's Christmas reading, 2017. Tonight, I'm by myself, obviously. Roxy's on the couch eating some chicken nuggets that I just made from McDonald's. Tonight's book is appropriate. The Night Before, The Night Before Christmas. It is December 23rd, 2017. We're going to kill it tonight, aren't we, Rox? <clears throat> All right, here we go. This is by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Mike Lester. The Night Before, The Night Before Christmas. "'Twas the night before Christmas with too much to do. Our tree wasn't up yet, and Mom had the flu. Our cookies were burned. There were presents to wrap. Mom sniffled. What I need is a long winter's nap. That's funny, because Mom is making cookies right now, isn't she? Yeah. For Santa to eat tomorrow. And Santa's going to eat them all, probably. But instead we drove miles to go get our tree. Last week there were millions, now there were three. This is at Jolly's Christmas tree farm. Dad tied the, <clears throat> excuse me. Dad tied the tree to our car. This will just have to do. Mom nodded gloomily and sneezed. Ah, ah, achoo. We dragged in our tree through the front door. It dropped half its needles all over the floor. I should probably just be a poet. I don't think I can do it though. Just then, Patrick pointed to something quite shocking. Oh no, there were holes in everyone's stocking. I hate that. Patrick is the baby. Patrick's the baby. Instead, we hung socks by the chimney with care. I hoped that St. Nick would fill up my spare. Things will get better, I thought as I crawled into bed. Maybe visions of sugar plums will dance in my head. Instead, I lay wondering, gazing up at the moon, what on earth is a sugar plum? Is it a candy or a prune? I'm watching the video to see if it... On I'm my phone? I'm the video on the phone. Perfect. Because it, cause it, cause it makes me feel like I'm wa watching TV. <laughs> cool. Early the next morning, I woke up from a dream. Be careful, Harold! I heard my mom scream. Out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see Dad on a ladder. He was stringing up lights on the rooftop and gutters, outlining the railings with the windows and shutters. Are you going to get like a guest appearance sign or anything like that? Or are you just going to sit there or lay there? Perfect. When he plugged in the cord, not a single light lit. Did we have extra bulbs? Yes, but none of them fit. So off to the mall, our family did drive. When Dad saw the crowds, he gasped, Sakes alive! <laughs> uh, don't vibrate too much, because... The stand's not too secure tonight. It's kind of just hanging out. We searched every store. All lights were sold out. But I found something for Grandpa. Silly Gilly, the trout. Finally all done with our last minute shopping. We flew past the food court without even stopping. But I want to see Santa. Patrick said with a whine. We pushed through the crowd. Wow, what a line. It wrapped around the counters and down the first floor, then wound through kids' clothing and out the front door. Oh, Patrick, he got his way, didn't he? After waiting for hours, at last our big chance, Santa roared, Oh, ho, ho, ho. Then Pat wet his pants. Better than the alternative. Let's all let's go home, we all cried. 
Mom, Patrick, and me, even jolly old dad sighed, and I said, I agree. Daddy, what the pants mean? I know, I know what it means. Good thing it didn't why say. Why did they change it? There could have been a bathroom there. There could have been a bathroom in that mall, you're exactly right. So on the way home, we sang the Jingle Bell song. All the while, I was thinking, what else could go wrong? When what to our wondering eyes should appear, but a gigantic mess. That much was clear. The tree was knocked over, my snow globe was shattered, ornaments were broken, tinsel was scattered. Bad kitty! I shouted. Then Mom started to weep. Christmas is ruined, and I need some sleep. No, it's not, Sugar Plum. These things are just stuff. Christmas is about love, and we have quite enough. Old Dad, he came in there and nailed it. Got that chair. He tucked Mom into bed for some much-needed rest. Then we three busy elves all gave it our best. How's your mom now? As snow gently fell, turning the earth sparkly white, I knew in my heart Christmas would turn out just right. Dad read us a book and gave us a kiss. It was my favorite story and it began like this. Was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. I feel like that was probably my best reading yet. One, the pages were not too long, pictures were great. Natasha Wing and Mike Lester, they nailed this. So, this one's done until tomorrow. Box is making faces in the background thinking that she's doing a selfie and she's completely wrong. Completely wrong. <laughs> oh. Busted.